If you're looking to earn up to 28 additional easy levels by collecting level up quest tokens, you can purchase for 1200 V-Bucks the Interstellar Aerial Quest Pack. Now, I did fumble the bag on the timeline here. I thought everything was unlockable today. It turns out it was unlockable last Tuesday, so I'm a week late. A uh, huge L for me, but it is what it is, guys. The world's not going to end. We're going to unlock everything in this pack in this video, review everything, and then we'll have a final decision when we do that. With that being said, supporter creator PIC0, Pizza with a zero. Let's get sweaty, baby. So someone at Epic Games really enjoys cats. And, <laughs> you know, if that's your thing, by all means, I'm not a huge fan of cats, but the more I look around my Fortnite locker, I'll find like random cat ears on characters, paw prints, random cat things. So it is what it is. ADS is fine. We also have the paw prints on the headphones as well. The animated wrap here. That's pretty good at night. What does it look like? I like the glow on the outfit. I will say that the accents within the outfit with it's kind of like a pulsing, breathing animation looks really good i also like how the backlink kind of glitches out within like the hologram of the paw prints there so i mean visually aesthetically it looks really good it just depends on if this is something that you're gonna wear or something you're into personally i'm not into stuff like this but i think the harvesting tool might be promising this is the dark forerunner glider within this gameplay i wanted to add some more purple here because we have a lot of pink already looks fine Again, ADS wasn't bad either. Equip, unequip with the harvesting tool. Oh yeah, that looks good. Look at this. Sounds good too. Impact? Impact is not bad. It goes with the direction of your swing with the impact. So I do like that. We've seen that before. I would love to see more of that. And then harvesting various materials here. Yeah, I enjoy the harvesting tool. Harvesting tool is very strong here. I not necessarily enjoy the paw print on my harvesting tool, but it does, you know, tie in with the rest of the outfit because that is the theme of it. So it is what it is. Hitting opponents. Yeah, the harvesting tool is pretty solid. Now, I do want to take off the back thing real quick because I do see a design on her jacket. So we do have that same animation within the breathing pulse of the purple and pink within the outfit. It does look really good. And we haven't even got to the other edit style for the outfit yet. I'm thinking so far... To include those 28 levels for 1200 with everything you're getting right now, it kind of seems like it's worth. Here is the wrap on the Sugar Style Cosmetics. Looks fine to me. No problems here. Machine Learning Set. Again, looks really good here. No complaints on a larger scale. And the Luminary Vision Set. Honestly, no complaints with the weapon wrap. Looks good. Some backlinks you could try here. We have the electric sign. I do have the eclipse um, edit style there. Um, pretty straightforward for a color scheme. Um, I don't know why I bought this cat, but it's there. Um, white, purple, pink, pretty friendly in terms of Fortnite cosmetics. I do enjoy the logo on her jacket though that she has there. I think it looks pretty good without a backlink as well. Um, this is probably my favorite. I know it's very simple, but I, I like the simplicity of it. I really do. I don't really want to press anything too close to the hoodie on the jacket. I don't want anything to clip. So this is my favorite here for sure with the Void Heart back bling. With the back bling here, I don't really necessarily <laughs> enjoy it all that much. Um, I think it might be the weakest item within this entire pack. That's just how I see it personally. Um, not a huge fan of cat stuff <laughs> or paw print stuff at that. Um, but with that being said, it still does kind of go on quite a bit. Maybe not in terms of a theme, but a lot of color scheme matches here. That should have been the other edit style here. I love that the Fortnite locker is still garbage after all this time. Um, but it does, you know, it does go on quite a bit. Nonetheless, if you're into it, completely fine. Nothing against you for me personally. It's not something that I, that I look to wear. Honestly, I've been running no backling with Michael Myers since he released. So <laughs> that's where I'm at. Let me come out and say it here. This additional edit style is so much more refreshing than the original style that the whole set is based off of because of this interesting teal is turquoise color i find it way more refreshing this is the signal override weapon wrap by the way for this gameplay i mean yes are the boots a little weird absolutely but from a perspective of what we already have in the game for our color scheme there's so much white pink and purple already that turquoise is so refreshing to see 
I'll talk about it more in the combo section of the video, but you can take the tail off as well here. So let me do that real quick. Although I do enjoy the additional colors within this edit style, I will say at night, the turquoise is kind of boring. You don't see it on the boots unless it's within the inside of the inlay of the boot and the inside of her jacket here. Let me show you that. So yeah, not a lot of turquoise here. Um, I wish we saw a little bit more. Maybe on the tips of her ears would glow that turquoise color or maybe the paw prints or maybe anything within the logo was turquoise. They're not enough at night for me to get super excited about here with this additional color scheme. Now for me personally, this color scheme is more interesting to me compared to the original white, pink, and purple we have because it's so common to see in Fortnite. I was going through my locker to find outfits that I could potentially wear with the back link and almost every single row had pink or purple in that row of skins somewhere. So we see it all the time, but then I see a color scheme like this and I'm like, whoa, yes, the boots are a little funky. I will say that, but the color scheme is so much more interesting to me to find combos for. So for a quick summary, the original color scheme is way too common in my opinion, but I do think the harvesting tool and the effects on the outfit are really good. Weapon wrap is not bad either. Additional color scheme is cool for that edit style, but not enough at night. Supporter creator PIZ0 and we'll see you in on the live stream. See ya.